Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing a speed reviews uh, video. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing uh, what I tested out uh, throughout the month and whether these products are great, just okay, or they're shite, then just keep on watching. Okay, I'm going through something. I can feel that I'm going through a cold because I had a um, sore throat and my nose is blocked but like I can feel that I'm not a hundred percent but I'm functioning okay I don't mind waking up in the morning and actually working and stuff like that so it's weird I hope it's not uh, COVID although the symptoms are not COVID like so yeah I think I should be fine just I've been eating vitamins and uh, Hopefully that helps and um, yeah, this stops. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you came here to uh, hear me talk about uh, the products uh, that I've tried throughout this month. And actually, I don't have any fails this month, which is, is great because, um, you know, it's always sad when I try a product and it just doesn't work out for me. And then I have to either figure out a way to make it work or part ways with it and yeah it's just you know i've spent my money on it and I, I i really hate to see that uh so this time around we only have may products and we have some favorites so i'm gonna start off with the just okay category and the first product that i have is this kiwi superfood cooling eye serum now I don't wear this as an eye serum. I actually wear this all over my face as a serum. Um, this is just okay. It's like water, honestly. It just gives a lovely boost of hydration, but it's very watery. It's very, very runny. Like if I show you, like it's literally, it's literally just water. And I don't necessarily uh, feel it uh, hydrating my skin. Uh, cooling sorry cooling my skin because it is a cooling serum i don't necessarily see that happening on my skin so because of that it's it's just okay it's not something that i would have purchased but i would be okay to finish it up and next up is this bubble tea peach bellini hand uh, restoring hand cream um this again is just okay like i wear hand creams or i put on hand creams every single day several times a day because um just you know as a habit i work at a computer so you know to kind of you know get my mind off things for a couple of minutes i would you know take a hand cream and you know massage it into my skin and you know kind of think about other stuff rather than work and um yeah so i use hand creams a lot and unfortunately this isn't my favorite now it smells really beautiful. It is tea inspired. It even says it here. It smells like peach tea, basically. Love, love the smell. Uh, however, the consistency of it is not great. I like a very thick, very hydrating hand cream that, you know, I will apply once and then I won't have to apply it for another five six hours if you know what i mean whereas this one i would apply it and then in an hour i would have to apply it again because it just did not do uh enough for my hands so you know if you have perfectly kind of normal uh, skin on your hands and you just need something that smells nice but doesn't necessarily you know provide an awful lot of hydration this might be okay for you for me not really because i do like something heavy duty uh, and the next uh, well the last may product this month is this uh, beauty kitchen natural line lip treatment so basically it is a 100% natural uh, lip treatment looks like vaseline there's no petroleum in it it just kind of looks like it um, at the beginning I thought that I loved it because it was so easy to use it was so smooth so soft it was really really nice however after using that much of it I came to the realization that it's not as nourishing as I like my um, my lip balms to be 
this is just fine i feel like if i apply it then within 20 minutes i have to reapply again because it just goes straight into my uh, my skin my lips and doesn't really last um on them doesn't really provide the hydration that I like so you know for nighttime before going to bed it is fine because I would apply it you know then I'm on my phone for a little bit and I go to sleep so I don't really notice it however during the day it's just not great so therefore um, it's just an okay uh, product uh, but that is all for my uh, me products and now let's talk about uh, the best products that I tried out throughout uh, July. Let's talk about something that took me by surprise and it is this Nivea Micellar, uh, Micellar Water. Um, I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did, but it's really, really good. Uh, you know, I would put a little bit of it on my microfiber round and I would use this to remove uh, my eye makeup and it removes everything perfectly my waterproof mascara it goes even my liquid lipstick it is being removed by this particular product really really well so yeah i love it i bought it last month and you know this is how much i've used already i'd say two more months and then i'll be done with it so for a fiver i think five i think i did i pay five i, th I think i paid four euro for it three months of use and for it to work that well it's a steel it's really really good um it's a really good micellar water let's continue on the trail of skincare uh this is the good molecules yerba mate wake up eye gel uh i love this oh my god it is i think this is my favorite eye cream i had ever tried it's so good it has the consistency of a gel rather than an eye cream however it is so hydrating that you wouldn't even think that uh, a consistency of a gel could be as hydrating as hydrating as this is um i've been really enjoying it it is the am um eye cream that i've been using because you know it's a wake up gel so uh, i think it's perfect for for the am and i've just been loving it and there's so much product in here i think there's 15 mils of product so it's going to take a while to go through and uh, it's very affordable because it's good molecules and uh, yeah i've been just enjoying this and i love it i love it i love it i would definitely repurchase a lip balm that i have been loving this month is this bye bye uh, plumper it is a plump pink lip balm well it has a little bit of a um minty sort of um taste to it sensation now it's not very tingly to be honest it just has that kind of taste which is fine by me doesn't bother me at all uh, but i love the consistency of it because if you had ever tried the dr papa lip um balms this has the exact same texture so it is a very thick uh it comes out kind of like a solid so this is what it looks like and once it touches your lips it just ah uh, becomes kind of kind of liquidy but also it has a little bit of attack to it which means that it lasts on uh, your lips and this one in particular when i apply it on my lips in the morning i don't have to reapply for another two or three hours because it still lasts uh, on my lips i have been really enjoying it and it works perfectly underneath uh like very drying liquid lipsticks to make them not as uh, as drying i've been really enjoying this particular uh, lip balm okay and then i only have two products i haven't tried out that many things uh this month but you know it's still it's still a lot it's still um it's still a bit so in terms of makeup i tried out this ilamasca beyond liquid highlighter in the shade omg i love it it's a it's a really good uh, liquid highlighter it is the highlighter that i'm wearing right now i have it topped up with something else but not too much this is the main star to be honest it is super blinding it has a beautiful um champagne color uh, it's 
just I'll give you a swatch because I absolutely love it and like I said it's super blinding it does dry down um, quite quickly so you do have to work with it but yeah this is what it looks like it seems like it might be a bit dark for me but actually it works um, it works perfectly fine for my uh, skin tone at the moment I have a little bit of a tan just a teeny bit from our camping trip um, so yeah it just seems to work very well super blinding very blendable you don't have to work quite fast because it does dry down but the effect that it gives on my cheeks is chef's kiss and the last product that I've been loving throughout July is my Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. Now, I've been lusting over this palette for one, two years, probably. And finally, I get the courage to say, fuck it, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to enjoy it. And I do. I love this palette. Look at how much... Oh my god, I have been using this as the, as a highlighter and also as an inner corner and I've been making progress on this so much. But I actually used all of these shades, this as a contour, especially like underneath my chin, uh, this as a highlight and also as an inner corner highlight, this as a bronzer, it is the bronzer that I'm wearing right now. I've been using this as a blush, this as an eyeshadow and this as a... Um, setting shade for my eye primer so this is the perfect all-in-one um, palette if you have a very similar skin tone to me because if you are darker this unfortunately will probably not work for you because it's just it'll just be too light but if you you know have an ivory sort of you know up to maybe a medium skin tone then I think this will work for you and it's so beautiful because it blends out so well the shades are really buttery the highlighters aren't as uh, explosive they're just you know nice subtle uh, um, but glassy like highlights I just love them they're so beautiful this palette as a whole is great plus it has a mirror so if now that traveling has kind of opened up um this would be perfect to take with you because the mirror is nice and you have everything here that you would need you probably could use this on your face as well as a um as a face powder so you know eyeshadows hmm, who needs them you can use those and you have everything you need in this particular palette uh, and i love it i love it i'm so glad that i bit the bullet and I bought it myself uh, but yeah that is it for today's video it's a rather quick one but that's okay um, you know I don't get PR as often so you know all of these products I usually buy myself or I, or I get in boxes and I you know tried them out one by one slowly but surely and I give you my honest uh, reviews but like I said that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, but yeah thank you very much and I will see you in the next one bye Mwah.